Hey guys, welcome back to my Twitch streaming where we are doing another Doki Doki Literature Club walkthrough. We left off where we were going to help Natsuki make some cupcakes for the festival. What, I actually look decent in one of my live streams? What? Okay, it was that guy at the lunch table. Thank you for following me on my Twitch. And I hope you feel better, because I know you were at the hospital the other day. Anyway. Okay. We're good to go. <laughs> Let's begin. Oh, do you like my background where my camera is? I feel like I'm in the classroom now. <laughs> Okay, so I watched a little bit of PewDiePie do his, and he was saving them in the different empty slots, so that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do too. And I'll try to do the voices. <laughs> um, where are you going? Huh? We still need to figure out our plans for the weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Ooh, we're getting a phone number. <laughs> oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Geez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Well, why would I do that? <laughs> That's Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Why is she coming over to my place? Shouldn't I be going over to her place? Wait, <laughs> you're coming to my house? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. That's, what's wrong with that? I mean, I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, do you think, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. All right, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. <laughs> you better, so you better look forward to it. Okay. <laughs> Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? <laughs> Well, kind of. And just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh... Never mind. Okay, this just got weird. <laughs> I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Okay. If even though I would have preferred to do this with Say Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school? She even told me that sh <laughs> she even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. So we're not going to check up on Sayori? It's Sunday already. Oh. <laughs> I guess no poem writing. <laughs> I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki coming, coming to visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one we sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> but putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard anything from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Well, you should if you're friends. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? 
I decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki can't, comes over. Good, because <laughs> I was hoping I was going to be able to do that. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Uh-oh. Shit, I'm this. The house <laughs> is quiet. Oh, crap. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to the bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Oh my god! <sighs> She's alive, okay. <laughs> this corner one. <laughs> Hi, Icarus! I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is a mess. Is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you come over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. Stop being mean! How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be... Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? I was, I was gonna say, how did she know that? Say Sayori had already left by the time we decided that la we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori Sar Sar smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Icarus. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. Oh my god. <laughs> but, but this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. What? I think that's why the whole world decided to have you come over today. What? It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! Er, Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh, uh. There he gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Icarus. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Icarus? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I have really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most of us can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Oh my god. I gotta stop saying that so happily. <laughs> Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? This is really sad. That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sari kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Well, how did you not know that? <clears throat> Sorry. Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? 
Why is it that you've never told me about this? It's almost like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Icarus. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Jesus. Why is she laughing? That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then yeah, I discovered something else too. <laughs> Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. Oh my god, I can't do everything. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> you're right, I do you're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Icarus, there's nothing, nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it was, it always was. But I was selfish, and I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. What the hell? I made you join the literature. <laughs> I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am, and that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Why is she thinking like this? I'm getting mad at her. Cause I. No, you don't! Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulders. This time I pulled her into a tight embrace. She's like pulling us deep. Ah! Uh, Icarus! Like Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Icarus. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No! Don't do this to me! Please don't I do this! Icarus! I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want for her is to know that I care. If you have it in, your, in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know if that was the right thing to say to her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori pulls her, puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Icarus. The only time I'm not feeling... Wait. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sarah lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think... I <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. <coughs> I need water. If I could spend the whole day with... Don't... The heck. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't! If you do that, then I would- I really wouldn't forgive you. But, it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. 
but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I, lo I look forward to it. She better freaking be there tomorrow. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. No, not yet. And here we go. <laughs> I spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door and let her in. Sep! <laughs> hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it, f don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't, weird, don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. <laughs> I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought... You bought... <laughs> you bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad, you, glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. <laughs> I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> what, you're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Icarus? Come on, since when did I need a... When did I... Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Ugh, this is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. <laughs> it seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist to my chest. Uh, hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey, uh, your size has nothing to do with it. You really hate being small that much? Huh? Um, it's not that, like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people... Okay. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm, wor I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about your weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like... That's a little bit more like you. <laughs> You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh, Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki... Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Huh? I appreciate that, wait, that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know? How would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Icarus. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back, but she's satisfied enough for now. Finally, starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before- oh man, I was hoping that I could bake the cupcakes. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid- why? <laughs> spilled fluid and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. 
Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Icarus, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going to be in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's in the bag. It's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? Uh. Excuse me. To color the batter. Of to color the batter, of course. Oops. I got a lot of help. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors are, aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. That's actually pretty smart. Aw, oh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so come on. You're not putting my heart in. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I am having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if, if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on the, my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud of me like that too. Yeah. Maybe I will use food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Natsuki the Vampire! Hi! <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Huh? The icing is still all lumpy! Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It, it'll just take a little bit longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses the other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. <laughs> See? As, as if to em emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, huh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. Uh-oh. I push harder just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Uh-oh. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Uh-oh! Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Mmm! She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez, you know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off her finger before shoving her fingers towards my own face. You wish I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hands before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Uh-oh. Ah, stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't, I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease me tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Uh-oh. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. <laughs> what? Did you just seriously? Ah, Natsuki is surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Icarus, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, you know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me? Just like that. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? Hmm, I wonder! <laughs> I, I mean, I... Natsuki gazes me in silence. I notice her shallow breath. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. 
Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in there, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should... I should have checked before turning the oven on. Or, you should have checked before you turn the... Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the, ba the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake tray into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. <laughs> ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet, smelling, warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. But they'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought the decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. It makes me want to make cupcakes now. I like Natsuki. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using this, using it this time, though. What's this one? I picked up one of the nozzles that had a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can make it into stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday, or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more a literature scene by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. You have cupcakes right now? What kind of cupcakes? And I want one. <laughs> It would be fun. Oh, uh, um, mm, I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that actually, that's actually a really cute idea. So, uh, maybe I'm getting, maybe I'm getting it from you. I mean, maybe I'm getting it from you. Ooh, I love chocolate cupcakes. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on, we're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? No, nothing. <laughs> Let's get to the icing. Natsuki picks up the paste and fastens the nozzle onto each of the bags. I think for one of my YouTube videos, I'm going to do Doki Doki Literature Club themed cupcakes. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. And I really want to cosplay Natsuki. Or Sayori. I like Sayori too, and I feel bad for her. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about it, think about, think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Ugh. Excuse me. Look how pretty they are together. Yeah, they yeah they are, aren't they? I wish I could have I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Hmm. True. I can see that. <laughs> Sayori's, Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, she'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we could have time for, um, for manga. But I need to be home for dinner. Oh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can't... You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? 
If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And and don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the w ah eh, mm. I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, yeah. Again, I think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always doesn't listen to, always does listen to me, but at that point I felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. <laughs> Such a frat boy. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? I'm pretty sure you did, dude. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think if I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere, um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely. She's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Icarus, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I have to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki! Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks matching the eyes. Matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head is start, starts to go dizzy as I feel her so, soft breath against me. I felt it. <laughs> For a while now. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Huh? <gasps> Sayori! Oh no! Hi, Icarus! S Sayori! Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Icarus. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well... You should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. You just don't need any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. I know! <laughs> I know! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried, to, I tried staying in my room. Oh, I forgot about the voice. But my imagination was being really mean to me. Oh, God. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. Oh, boy. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Icarus? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be much better if I could just disappear. Oh my god, I wish you would stop talking like that. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Icarus. If I wasn't here, you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica... Monica was right about what? Sayori. I mean, Sayori. <laughs> what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you is like... Caring about you like this isn't a burden your, your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Icarus. 
I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sorry? I'm scared that get out of the bubble that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Icar Icarus! I like it so much that I wanted to... Oh, God. That's how I feel. And... And that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Yeah, I'm in the classroom. <laughs> Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Uh, what would be the best response? I feel like if I say I love you, then it's, it's she's going to hurt more in the end if I get closer to the girls. But then I feel like it's going to hurt even more if I say you'll always be my dearest friend. I'm just going to say I love you. Huh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner, but spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept all any of your burden, as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side. Th then I know we'll both be happy. Icarus! Oh, suddenly Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Icarus! This is really okay? Yeah. What? <laughs> now I finally see what I look like, at least from the back of the head. <laughs> I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Icarus, and I want to be with you forever. Me uh, Wait, oh, uh, me too. Sorry. <laughs> I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why, even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Icarus. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. I better not mess this up, I swear. Sayori and I slowly release each other. Oh, crap, though. I just thought of something. I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it's always been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. I know it's so adorable. It's really new. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Icarus. Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Uh, huh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. Uh, thank you for the follow, Lester. That's my, uh, that's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. Oh, what did I... Oh, that's all I had. Um, I was just flirting with Natsuki, and I feel like that if uh, she finds out that I'm now dating Sayori, she might get mad, and then Sayori might get upset that Natsuki's mad, and she's going to blame herself, and then it's just going to cause this downward spiral. But I hope not. I know that I love her, and she loves me, but I'm having such trouble under understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can't... Even though I can comfort her. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more, 
or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Good. That's where I wanted to... I wanted to be in favor of Sayori in the first place anyway. It's the day of the festival. I feel... <laughs> of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. Crap. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that it, that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself carefully, stacking two trays. Oh, God. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. No, no, just Sayori, not Natsuki. You're going to mess things up. But I know Monica. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Icarus! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared prepared that have all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. Wow, okay, first of all, you're dating her now, so you gotta stop calling her a dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd be able to She'd try a little harder. Uh, first of all, you, she just told you that she has depression, so why don't you give her some slack? I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing that it's not nearly that simple for her. Exactly! <laughs> I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Uh, you should take a little responsibility for her, Icarus. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... That's what I was thinking. I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Oh, uh, okay. I suddenly don't like... Something's wrong with Monica. Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Where's my music? Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. Uh-oh. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head. I listen yeah, to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. This is creepy. You probably should have woke her up. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Icarus? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Oh, there's something wrong. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. Um, 
I'm not liking where this is going. <laughs> I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like, oh, my hands are sweating. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That's really something a boy that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have her have to enter the room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Ah! That legit scared me. Oh my god. An exception has occurred. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. Why? I can't believe that my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why... Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. Even She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more- I tried! Uh! Walked her to school and remained friends with her like it always has been. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I totally forgot to save. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is, wor is worse than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now I can never take it back. Never. Never, 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 never. What? That was the end? Can I go back? What the f- Oh my god! I'm... Should I click this thing? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'll click it. I can't even read that. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... <laughs> My neighbor. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I must feel better off running away. However, I just sighed and idle in front of the crosswalk and lit. So, I'm gonna say sorry, right? I... What the hell is going on? I've always told myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any club. Oh, God! I'm perfectly content j just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. 
The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Icarus? Monica? <laughs> oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here! It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so gently feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I was just looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess I guess you could check the closet. You're in the de you're in the debate club, right? Uh -huh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Oh. A literature club! <laughs> Should I save? Oh, there's an... Where's my setting? Okay. I'm just gonna start saving. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us, so... Three? It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry... I mean, one of my members keeps her manga collection in the club room. Not sticky. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? <laughs> she this scared me. <laughs> Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Icarus. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you you could do me a big favor? <sighs> Thank you to... Somebody followed me or something. That scared me. <laughs> huh. I won't ask you to join, but if you could, at the very least, visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I refuse someone like Monica? Uh, you better refuse her because she is scary. Sure. I mean, <laughs> sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Icarus, you know that? You're really sweet, Icarus, you know that? It's nothing, really. <laughs> Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another- I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. She's gonna kill me, isn't she? And thus today marks the day I should I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Timidly I follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh my god! I'm back! <laughs> and I brought a guest with me! <sighs> huh? A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Icarus! All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls, like I said before. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not! Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. 
Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Icarus. Oh, so I ran into Icarus in the classroom, and he decided to come back, come to check out the club. <clears throat> Isn't that great? <laughs> Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to. Well, you know. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that. But I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Icarus? <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Because you kill everybody that joins. So many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when something that's... Uh, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. Excuse me. I gotta hear. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Uh, don't let yourself be intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be the pastime for me, but at least... But I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Icarus, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga! I mutter, I mean, manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build up, build deep in complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. <coughs> she seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. I want to try to stay away from her as much as possible. <laughs> well, her and Monica. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yes. <laughs> Fourth wall breaking, PewDiePie was right. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, <laughs> Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. <laughs> ah, I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if the story makes me think or takes 
make, takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal... Uh, what? Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Well, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Well, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Well, why don't you share some... <laughs> why don't you share them sometimes? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. You wouldn't like them. I got two, like, bring, so I didn't know what that was. Okay. We're good. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, not a very confident writer yet. Not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. <laughs> we all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Not in Yuri. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh, then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um... Uh, ah! <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for us, for all of us to do, to participate together. I did decide to take one, take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like, like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Icarus? Hold on, there's still one problem. Oh, what's that? Uh-oh. Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said it- oh. <laughs> I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought- huh. The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Icarus. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Icarus? Yeah. It could be fun. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if he, if he really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Icarus, I'm so happy. We can become official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? And thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Icarus, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I really impress the star, the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? 
I already, I don't care if Monica's hot. She's freaking me out. I already feel anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. I have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes? Oh god. Oh my god. I was not going to read that one out loud. Oh, it's just the two of them. That, that was creepy. I don't like this. Ugh. Okay, I'm, I'm still going to do happy things. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happiness. Imagination. Oh, right. Um, heart, memories, fickle, vibrant, misery, hop, strawberry, yes, puppies are happy, <laughs> cute, um, vacation, hope, raindrops, misfortune, raindrop, vertigo special, Disaster games. I should not have read that poem. Embrace. Kawaii. Um, promise playground jumpy playground socks infinite blanket milk sunset. We'll do sunset. Fireflies are cute. Um, passion summer secretive starscape. Bouncy twirl. Yeah, we'll do twirl. Chocolate, variants, frightening dance, marriage, rose, rose, oh, sugar, music, hopeless, spring, infernal, great, tears, climax, insight, flea, those are all, oh, music is, sparkle, anime, excitement, determination, boop, won't do boop, bubbles, all right. Natsuki is the girl now. Oh no, I really wish I didn't do that. I really hope that she doesn't die. Hi again, Icarus! Oh, let me save. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us! <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. Well, I'm back in the literature club. Okay, the music sounds funny. Or is that just me? I was... No, no, no. Something's wrong with the music. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. I have... I knew it. Thanks for keeping your promise. <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you... It's crooked, too. I feel like the screen is crooked. Oh, this is messing with my eyes. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Jesus, mother of God. Oh, come on. He deserves any slack. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to dr be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. I can't read! Hello, Monica, can you get out of my screen? Natsuki certainly... Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! 
Swifty defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Icarus. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Mm. <laughs> well... I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right to do something like that if you ask. Is this moving? I feel like it's moving. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. It is moving. Is the screen moving? I feel like it's tilting every... Ah, uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I just want to be a part of this club. So even if you don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should keep... That I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This, this is... Ah, oh, this is how... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Even if she even picked out a book she thinks I'd, I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. <sighs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I knew it! I knew the screen was tilting on me. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is roaming around in the closet. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Whoa. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Accurate! <laughs> How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it kind of... it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to a box of m manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with the one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I know that feel. <laughs> I get a closer look at the box set she is admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Icarus. Consider this a lesson. Don't judge a book. I want to read what it says. In fact, Natsuki pulls the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hand. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Oh, uh, 
Asuka grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats the ground next to her, signaling me to sit here. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. And what's that? Uh, I, get, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. <gasps> Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I've read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happened yet, so I can't... So I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice-of-life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. <laughs> Aw, she's adorable! Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just... Watching me read. Oh, even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Uh, that's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Did you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, eh, why you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes you want to punch them in the face. Oh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less... Judge much less friend... Much less... Okay. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found the... Oh my god, uh... At least, at least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Uh, I can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? Ah, <laughs> jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Oh my god, 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 So why is it doing that? Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Oh, she's asleep! Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! The fuck? Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar, bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Icarus. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share our poems now? What the fuck? What in the hell? I... Okay, uh, let me save this real quick. I 
am going to end it right here before I read anything else, because this is really freaky. Um, thank you so much for the new followers that I have on my Twitch stream, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put this video on my YouTube channel eventually, so you'll never forget the time I got scared. I feel bad for Sayori, and I feel like I messed up, and I feel like I could have done better, but I don't know. I don't know how this game works, and I appreciate no spoilers, but, uh, why is the room flashing. See, I'm freaking myself out. But anyway, I'm going to end this live stream and I will be back, I think, Tuesday is when my next live stream is. And I'll be playing more of Doki Doki Literature Club then. And thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time. I'm going to save it just one. Okay, bye! <laughs>